So you guys, today's video, I wanna bring y'all this video on LaMelo Ball just because I haven't made a video on him in quite a while ever since he's got drafted. Well, since the beginning of the season, you know, I was updating you guys on everything. But as you can see now, we're in the middle of the season, about 26 games in for the Charlotte Hornets and LaMelo Ball, he currently is averaging 14 points a game, six assists, five rebounds, shooting 43 field goal percentage and shooting 36% from the three point line. He also won rookie of the month and he currently leads all NBA rookies for total points, rebounds, assists, steals, double doubles, triple doubles, and also player efficiency rating. So as you can see, LaMelo Ball, he's doing his thing. He's literally already breaking numbers. This guy is already like a top 10 point guard because the things that he's doing his rookie year, only LeBron James and Luka Doncic has done it so far. So it's just like LaMelo Ball is really breaking numbers. In this video, I really just want to talk about his insane workout routine. Just because before he even got drafted in the NBA, I was updating you guys on his workouts during the offseason. He was training in Detroit with his manager Jermaine Jackson and also Mike Fox. And they really was getting LaMelo right. And as you can see, LaMelo is dominating his rookie season in the NBA. So before I start this video, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram at underscore the only Wallace. And also go subscribe to my second channel called 10K Wallace Vlogs. Now let's get to the video. So first thing first, let's just do a little rundown on LaMelo Ball's rookie season so far. Now we all know throughout the beginning of the season, LaMelo, he did not start due to just the situation with his career, such as him not playing in the NBA Summer League with the virus and everything. They didn't host the Summer League for these guys this year. So the head coach just wanted LaMelo Ball to just get used to the NBA and just, you know, get the feel of the game and just get prepared. So, you know, he just wanted LaMelo to come off the bench and just slowly get himself right. And as you can see now that we're in the middle of the season, LaMelo Ball is starting. He's already been starting for a few games and he's just been getting better and better. And the thing that I realized about LaMelo since the season started, even though he was coming off the bench, LaMelo Ball, his confidence was out the roof. This man entered the game with just high confidence. He wanted the ball in his hand. He's already 6'8". This guy is really, really tall. Y'all got to understand the reason why it's so easy for LaMelo to see the game because he's a point guard and he's 6'8". This guy can see everywhere on the floor. And on top of that, it's just like he's already a smart player. He's already talented. That's how he made it to the NBA. So him just getting better and better. Yo, this kid really has a bright future, you guys, because at this point, once he started to be able to score the ball more and easier, he already has really good vision. Like I said, he's already leading all NBA rookies in everything. So that just shows you that LaMelo, he's a different type of player. This guy is really special. The past seven games, he averaged 33 minutes before they played the Memphis Grizzlies, right? Because he sat out the fourth quarter throughout that game. But before they played the Memphis Grizzlies, LaMelo Ball, he was averaging 22 points, six rebounds, six assists, shooting 43 field goal percentage and 51% from the three point line. And all of that was throughout the past seven games. So just imagine if LaMelo Ball gets 30 plus minutes every single game for the rest of his rookie year. Bro, this kid's stats is going to keep going up because he's really getting better and better. He's only played 26 games in the NBA and look at the things he's already doing, you guys. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. LaMelo is really a big reason on why the Charlotte Hornets is currently 7th in the Eastern Conference with a 12-14 and 14 record because he has came into this team with high energy. He has just changed the pace and everything. And every single NBA team known this about LaMelo before he got drafted, right? Everybody knew that LaMelo is a 6'8 point guard that know how to change the pace. You know, he can make the game faster. And that's what's been benefiting for the Charlotte Hornets with LaMelo Ball. He has been making the game faster, throwing the ball down the court, throwing alley-oops to Miles Bridges, helping him just unlock his full potential. You know, these guys, they are a really young team and they know how to run the floor. They also have Gordon Hayward to score the ball. They got Terry Rozier, who's a really good scorer. Devontae is currently dealing with a left groin injury. So it's just like this young rookie, 6'8", 190 pound point guard named LaMelo Ball. He really is giving this team what they needed and he's only getting better and better. 
Now let's talk about his workout routine. Now we all know throughout LaMelo Ball's career, he really was not a big workout person. Like he don't like really lifting weights. That's why LaMelo, he is still skinny because he's not a really big weight type of guy. And I'm also going to make another video just talking about on how LaVar Ball really tried to like get LaMelo to lift more weights and everything. But here's the thing once LaMelo Ball went under Jermaine Jackson and Mike Fogg's wing they've been working out with LaMelo different ways and I just been watching them throughout this past offseason and just seeing the videos that they recorded while LaMelo was working out it's just everything is different you can tell they have their own workout routine for LaMelo and also Leanslo because he was working out with them and I just know that LaMelo wasn't really lifting weights like that throughout this past offseason because we will see the difference you know in his body he currently is still skinny not saying that he didn't get bigger or anything Lamelo definitely did get more bigger and he got you know more rip but i just can tell that throughout this offseason jermaine jackson and mike fox they made a workout routine for Lamelo where he don't really have to lift weights like that but of course he's eventually going to get bigger because when you think about it his older brother lonzo when he was a rookie playing for the lakers he was the same size as Lamelo. But once the second year came around, that's when Lonzo really got bigger. So it's just like, you never know. The Charlotte Hornets, they might make LaMelo start to lift more weights his second year in the NBA. But at the same time, he is 6'8". It's not like LaMelo even has to lift weights. Look what he's doing already in the NBA. He's already breaking records, you know what I mean? So it's just like, LaMelo really don't even have to lift weights or just do any extra things that he's doing because... Right now, the workout routine that he has established with Jermaine Jackson and Mike Fox, he just need to keep doing that. If he's being successful, still doing those type of workout routines and just, you know, balling out, then keep doing it. Don't change nothing just to, you know, make other people happy. I really wish I could see like some behind the scenes footage of LaMelo Ball working out with the Charlotte Hornets, you know, doing a regular practice day because I just want to see the type of drills and just the workouts he's doing with his team. Because you never know, LaMelo could be working out separate times, as in he could be working out on his own and also working out with his team. So you just never know. But I just want to see what the Charlotte Hornets got LaMelo Ball doing. Because at the end of the day, he is a rookie. So you already know they're going to make him do some weightlifting drills and all that. It's not like he can just sit on the sideline and just do whatever he wants just because he's a lottery pick. He's still a rookie in the NBA at the end of the day. So you know they're going to make him do stuff. And like I said, just looking at LaMelo, you can tell that there's a difference in his body. He's getting more ripped, so he's doing workouts. He really is. But at the end of the day, I just know right now he's not a big weightlifting person. So we just got to see what happens. But it's going to be a really, really interesting thing to see how LaMelo will look if he's about like 220 215 maybe you know what i mean like just imagine he's only going to get better and another thing that i realized is that during games when lamello ball you know he's balling out doing his thing jermaine jackson he has trained lamello throughout this past well he's been training lamello ever since he's been at Spire, so he know exactly how lamello play he has taught lamello a lot and when lamello do something during the game that Jermaine see that they have worked on, you know, he would give LaMelo props and tell him, you know, good job on doing this. We worked on that and did this and that. So you can tell LaMelo really was paying attention to Jermaine Jackson and Jermaine really helped him out a lot. So that's really cool and dope for real, you guys. And I just can't wait to see how LaMelo just keeps playing because right now his minutes is looking good. The head coach is giving him good minutes, even though they made him sit out for the fourth quarter against the Memphis Grizzlies. Today, they're playing against the Timberwolves. He's going against Anthony Edwards. They're both fighting for that Rookie of the Year award. So we just got to see what happens today. But right now, LaMelo is doing really, really good. And I'm not surprised because I knew this was going to happen. I've been making so many videos on LaMelo. I just want you guys to go watch my previous videos I made on LaMelo before he even got drafted in the NBA. But I want you guys to leave y'all comments and opinions below on how y'all feel about this. I thank you guys for watching. If you make sure you like, subscribe, make sure you press the notification button. TK Game, we out.